Friends, back pain is one of the common reason for a doctor's visit. I see about four to five fresh cases of back and neck pain in a given day as a spine surgeon. One of the neglected part of back pain juggernaut is that smoker's back pain. How many of you know friends that smoking causes back pain? I bet, yes, smoking causes that nagging low back and neck pain in the long run. Now how smoking causes back pain? How to identify that connection? And if you remain till the end, I will tell you my five tips to get out of the smoker's back pain. Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Arun Naik, neurosurgeon, spine surgeon and a vlogger, YouTuber. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Smokers are more likely to develop chronic back pain, neck pain than non-smokers. This is established in the medical studies done for decades. Well, one can argue that smokers are generally not as healthy as non-smokers, but smoking reduces the immune system's ability to defend the body against any disease. Beyond all that assumptions, I will bring in some proven scientific reasons why smoking causes chronic back pain. Number one, smoke has nicotine. We all know this fact and nicotine affects the brain areas that are involved in habit forming and addiction. Smokers develop a low threshold for back and neck pain over the years. Hence, in smokers, that back and neck always hurt. Number two, smoking is known to cause damage to those minor joints in the spine and causes arthritis. In the backbone, there are multiple small joints called facet joints and smoking causes spinal arthritis which causes intense pain on movements. Number three, nicotine in cigarettes causes microvascular disease. This is a disease of the small arteries wherein those tiny blood vessels supplying your spinal discs get clogged by small plaques or blood clots due to smoking. The intervertebral discs, those are situated between the vertebral bone. They get their essential nutrients from the microvascular that is lining the end plates on both sides of the disc. If blood vessels become injured due to smoking, the discs don't obtain the right amount of nourishment accelerating the degenerative or the aging process. Those discs are meant to cushion the vertebrae and they degenerate faster in smokers. Once blood flow is restricted, your discs dry out and diseased and come out of their place causing what is called as a slip disc or a disc prolapse. Number four, smoking interferes in the body's handling of vital nutrient called calcium which slows the bone growth and repair. Now smokers are at higher risk for osteoporosis and this causes tiny fractures in the spine causing back and neck pain. Number five, smokers are prone to persistent coughing and we all know this fact and this persistent cough during the day causes back pain. Number six, smokers have diminished immunity. Our spinal bones and joints undergo multitudes of stress during the daytime and we have excellent recovery mechanisms in our immune system where our body repairs these minor stresses. Due to impaired immunity in smokers, the spine heals slowly and incompletely and this causes pain. Number seven, smokers are usually sedentary and have very poor eating habits, full of junk foods and 
alcohol. This triad of smoking, junk foods and alcohol is bad for the health of your spinal bones. Keep it in mind. Now let's consider what are the symptoms in smokers back pain. Smokers often have neck and back pain which is very very vague and dull aching. Usually it does not come down to the arms or legs. Pain becomes worse in the night and early mornings. The pain may be associated with those tingling numbness or pins and needle sensation in the feet along with burning sensation. In the later stages the pain comes down to arms, hands, legs and feet and then we call this pain as radiating pain because it radiates. In the neck it is called brachialgia and in the lower back it is called a sciatica. Uh, later stages there will be difficulty in walking and urinary issues if neglected for long. Now what are the red flags in smokers back pain? Friends, number one pain in the low back or neck that goes to legs or arms the so called radiating pain. Number two constant pins and needle sensation in the hands or feet. Number three feeling heavy in the limbs. Number four difficulty in walking and writing. Number five out of control of urine and never neglect these danger signs. Seek medical attention early. Now how to diagnose smokers back pain. Now when a person comes to me with these symptoms I take complete history and do a neurological examination and find out this connection with smoking. I may ask for an MRI scan of the neck or the low back and x-rays to find out the root cause of back pain or neck pain. 90% of the times the problem is in lifestyle friends. Posture, diet, dehydration, smoking, obesity, stress, all this needs to be addressed. Rarely I perform a small surgery to remove an offending disc. Surgery, remember, is the last step in the treatment of back pain. Now how to stop smoking? Friends, I will give those proven 5 tips which I give to my patients to help you quit smoking. Some of these tips may work for you. Number 1. Try nicotine replacement therapy. Ask your doctor about those nicotine replacement therapy. Chewing gums are available and my patients say it helps. Number 2. Avoid urges. Strongest reason for a smoke is an urge such as at parties or bars or while feeling stressed or sipping a cup of coffee. Identify your urges friends and have a plan in place to avoid them entirely or to get through them without using tobacco. Number 3. Delay. If you feel like you want to have a cigarette, tell yourself that you must first wait 30 more minutes and then do something to distract yourself from that period of time. Try going to a public smoke-free zone or a park and spend some time there. Number 4. Keep chewing. Yes, best way to fight that smoking urge is to put something in your mouth. Chew those sugarless gum or hard candy, chocolates or munch on salads, nuts or something crunchy. It helps. Number 5. Get physical. Physical activity can help distract you from an urge. Run down a flight of stairs or go for a brisk walk friends in your office. Try squats, deep knee bends, push-ups or running or jogging in the place. Anything physical will divert your attention from that urge. Yoga is a great great way to say goodbye for smoking. Remember trying something to beat the urge is always better than doing nothing. And each time you resist a tobacco craving, you are one step closer to being totally tobacco free. Why you should stop smoking in back pain? Friends studies show that when people quit smoking, those people who have uh, neck or back pain, the calcium absorption resumes 
as does the blood flow to the spinal discs and good news is that within one year of quitting smoking can totally reverse your spinal pain if the damage is not that severe already so friends you can always try get rid of the back pain and also that dreaded lung cancer heart attack and that notorious life-threatening brain stroke with that friends we have come to the end of this short video thanks for watching and hope you found this video helpful if you liked it give me a big thumbs up share this video with your smoker friends or colleagues so that it will benefit them also if you are new here please please consider hitting that subscribe button hit that bell icon to get instant notifications of my new videos as i upload friends drop your thoughts in the comment section i'll be back with another equally interesting doc log very soon till my next one feel awesome live awesome and take good care of your health and yes try to stop smoking Thank you.